Hey guys, how you doing? It's Mr. Kilburn. Hope you are doing well. Hope you're getting some exercise, doing some chores, doing some reading, doing some number learning. Um, just keeping it fresh, okay? Hope to see you guys sooner rather than later um, so we can get back at it, okay? So I just made, I spent like 12 minutes making a video, and that video went kablooey. So now I'm going to try again because that's how much I care. Loving, thoughtful, did I say caring? caring teacher. Okay, so I know there's a few you didn't have to do here. One of them was 16, I think it's 16, 25, 28, something like that. Okay, so let's get at it. Number 17, what's the slope of the line in the accompanying diagram? So you've got to go from here, you've got to go from here to here, right? So it looks like up four, three to the right, choice A. You should have crossed off C and D right away because those are negative slopes, and clearly that's a positive slope. Okay, next. Which expression is not equal to 1? Okay, so there was one symbol on here that you might have thought was a typo. It was not a typo. And that's choice B. It really is supposed to say 3 exclamation mark, which means 3 factorial. I'll explain that in a second. Okay, so if you pick B because it is a symbol you didn't recognize, just go online. It's like, what's, what's the exclamation mark in math mean? And it's actually pretty simple. You could have figured it out on your own. But anyway, so choice A. Um, so that's 6 to 5th over uh, multiplying bases the same. Add your exponents. So 6 to the 5 divided by 6 to the 5 is 1. Okay, so it's not that. 3 factorial just means 3 times 2 times 1. In this, in this case, over 6. So like 7 factorial is 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Anyway, this is 6 over 6. Oh, you're going to do this too, huh? 6 divided by 6, which is also equal to 1. So it's not that one. Um, this is equal to 1 because anything raised to a 0 is 1. So by elimination, you get that. What you end up with is 6 to the 6 over 6 to the 5. And when you divide and the bases are the same, subtract your exponents, you get 6 to the 1, or just 6. So you should have had choice D for number 18. For number 19, which data will most likely show a negative correlation when graphed in a scatter plot? Well, if I graph a scatter plot and have a negative correlation, one variable better be increasing and one variable better be decreasing. Okay, so A, the number of shots taken and the number of shots made during a basketball game. Well, that should be a positive correlation. The more shots you take, the more baskets you're going to make. So it's not A. B, the outside temperature in the winter and the cost of the heating bill. Well, if you can imagine, as your temperature decreases, we'll say this is temperature. As the temperature goes down, guess what happens to your uh, heating bill? Yeah, it goes up. So you get a negative correlation. So you should add choice B for 19. Okay, number 20, 1.56 times 10 to the negative 2. So a scientific notation, negative exponent does not mean negative number. It means small number. So the exponent tells you how many places you can move the decimal point. So 1.56 times 10 to the negative 2, I would move it two places to the left. 0 0.0156, choice C. Okay, and again, if at any point you I go too fast or you miss something, just... Back it up. You know the drill. Okay, 21. Select a table that has a slope, as it forms a line with a slope of positive one half. So I want my um, y's to be going up by one and my x's to be going up by two. Okay, so here the y's are going up by two and the x's are going up by one. Well, that'd be two over one, so it's not a. Here, these are the y's are going up by 1, the x's are going down by 2, so that would be negative 1 half. Oh my gosh. Come on. So it's not b. Um, y, or sorry, y, c. Y's are going up by 2, and X's are going up by 4, K 
Okay, well, what's 2 over 4 reduced to? Not y, 4. Reduces to 1 half. So I should have had choice C for that one. Sorry, this ink is lagging. I'm not quite sure why. Okay. Sorry, this error keeps coming up. Okay, which value of p is the solution of 5p minus 1 equals 2p plus 20? So there's no parentheses to distribute. There's no like terms to combine on the left-hand or the right-hand side of the equation. So hopefully, hopefully you say added 1 here, added 1 here, 5p equals 2p plus 21, um, subtract 2p to both sides, that's annoying, you get 3p equals 21, Divide 3, divide 3, P equals 7. Okay, again, the ink, my bad. I don't know what's going on with it. Okay, next. 23, hopefully you recognize that's obviously a translation or a slide. That's a pretty easy one. Okay, so that's a translation. Figure 2. Below is a graph of the average number of miles per hour jogged in five minutes in five minute intervals for Isaac's exercise program. <clears throat> if Isaac's going to jog for tw 12 minutes on Monday, what's the expected speed at which he will jog? So just go to 12 up here and cruise over here. Looks like about 13. Okay, 25 you did not have to do. 26, solve the system. Okay. So, to solve this system, notice how there's a, a y equals, okay? So what you can do is, you can substitute. So where I see a y, I'm going to replace it with 2x plus 7. So I've got x plus 2 times 2x plus 7 equals 4. Distribute, get x plus plus 4x plus 14 equals 4. Combine like terms. And pretty quickly you get a basic, basic two-step equation. Subtract 14, subtract 14. 5x equals negative 10. Divide 5, divide 5. <coughs> x equals negative 2. Okay, once you get x, how do you get y? Plug it in, plug it in. So, which equation doesn't matter? I don't know. Do the second one. y equals 2 times negative 2 plus 7. y equals negative 4 plus 7. y equals 3. 3. There you go. Okay, so it's not just negative 2. It's not just 3. It's the ordered pair, negative 2, 3. Okay. Next. Okay, uh, 27. Yeah, you did do 27. 28 you didn't have to do, so it's Pythagorean. Okay. 27. In the diagram of right triangle ABC with the right angle at C, line L is drawn through C and parallel to AB. Okay. If, a, if triangle ABC is reflected in line L, forming the image triangle 
a prime b prime c prime which statement is not true okay so if i reflect this triangle over this line remember when you reflect you draw a line to the line of reflection make a right angle go the same distance past so a prime would be like right there and same thing for b come down make a right angle go the same distance past b prime would be like right there so there's a reflection it's not perfect but you see it okay so which one's not true well are c and c prime the same point yes they are c's on the line it doesn't go anywhere so if i reflect it it's the same point b measure of angle abc which is right here equals the measure of angle a prime b prime c prime remember angle measure does not change after reflection okay doesn't even change after dilation so angle measure never changes with these rigid motions or even any of these transformations so it's not b okay the area of triangle abc is twice the area of, or sorry the area of triangle a prime b prime c prime is twice the area of triangle abc well did they talk about dilations did it get bigger or smaller okay no it didn't so it stayed the same right reflection is a rigid motion area size does not change so you should have choice c for that one and then it says line l is equidistant from a and a prime well it is this this distance here is the same as this distance here that's what equidistant means equally distant okay all righty 28 you didn't have to do 29 which ordered pairs is the solution of the following equation? So all you have to do is take one of these ordered pairs and plug in and check it. Okay, so for this first one here, so you could do negative 4 times 4 plus 2 times 5. Does that equal 26? Is negative 16 plus 10 equal to 26? Nope. So try the next one. Negative 4 times negative 4 plus 2 times 5. Does that equal 26? Okay, well, negative 4 times negative 4 is 16. 2 times 5 is 10. Is 16 plus 10 26? Yep. Got her. Okay, and then number 30. I said that one you didn't have to do. I'm going to lose my mind. Maybe you didn't have to do 30. I lost my piece of paper. Um, well, if B is a positive number, 